Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and I have finally obtained one of my white whales. One of my holy grails. One of my something else that ends in ales. Before I unveil it, I want to set the scene. The year is 2002. I am just out of the army, and I have a job delivering pizzas. I was an independent contractor, so in between deliveries I could do whatever I want. I could sit and do nothing, I could watch TV, or I could play Marvel Super Heroes, the arcade cabinet that they had there. Since the point of going to work is to come home with more money than when you left, I opted not to play the arcade and just sit and watch TV. Now, I was on the day shift, and that meant that deliveries were infrequent, but profitable. So, I had to watch daytime TV. Luckily, the place where I was had cable, and they had a small channel known as Tech TV. I won't go into the history of Tech TV, but let's just say it was an amazing channel for geeks and people who were into geeky things. And on a little show called Call for Help, I saw it. The iMac G4. Different people showed tips on how to use the Macs, but the one that I remember the most is Brett Larson. He made me laugh and made the mysterious looking object seem magical. I got a Mac a few years later and have loved them ever since, but I never had the iMac G4 until now. Okay, so this little beauty has an 800 megahertz PowerPC G4, 512 megabytes of SD RAM. Uh, the graphics card is a GeForce 4 MX with 32 megabytes of video RAM. Uh, the screen here is a lovely uh, 1440 by 900. It does have some damage, but I'm not really concerned. No Bluetooth, no wireless card. It does have a modem, though. And uh, the front little drive here is a uh, CD burner as well as a DVD burner. So there's that. So I was making deliveries during quarantine, which I'm allowed to do because I'm essential personnel. Uh, when I drove past this little beauty just sitting on the side of the road. I quickly stopped, turned around, grabbed it, threw it in the back of the car. Once I got done with my delivery, got home, decontaminated it, and fired it up and heard the most strangled startup noise I've ever heard. Uh, but it powered on. Uh, I was then, of course, defeated by the password that was on there. Luckily, all you have to do with these old iMacs is uh, put in a install disk for OS X, and you can go right to password resetter and reset anybody's password that you want, including the admins. So now I have an almost 20 year old computer running a chipset that uh, nearly no one supports anymore, uh, but I finally have one of the computers that I've always wanted. And it is by far one of the coolest looking computers I think I've ever seen. The next steps will be to see what I can upgrade and uh, what I can't uh, to find out uh, what I can use this for in the short term as well as the long term. I hope you've enjoyed this little stroll down memory lane with me as well as uh, going into one of the items that I've wanted for longer than my son's been alive. Um, if you have any suggestions on what to do with this or what to play on it, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching and as always, play on!